What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I wanted to actually talk about an app that I love using as well on the Surface Duo, and that's just simply because uh, we could be getting a new Duo. It has leaked a whole bunch of specs and everything on Geekbench and just how it looks and everything. And so I wanted to do some showcases on some potential apps that you could use or apps that you can use now on your current Duo, um, but Obviously, it would work even better on a newer one with a better processor. So this app today I want to talk about is actually going to be called Dolphin. So Dolphin basically is an emulator. Um, and let me put this to dual screen right here if I can do that. There we go. Dolphin is an emulator that lets you play uh, Nintendo games on your, essentially on your Surface Duo. So let me actually do this, rotate it this way. There we go. Uh, so Dolphin is actually an emulator that lets you play uh, like Nintendo, GameCube, Wii games um, on your Surface Duo. And because, and well mainly it's for Android, but because it is um, a bigger screen, a bigger footprint, even that of the um, Galaxy Z Fold, um, it, and it's also a dual screen, the experience to me is far superior on a device like this than it is on even the Z Fold just because of that extra screen. So it's free on the Google Play Store and uh, there's not too much to it. You can just download it and play it. There's a ton of downloads for it. They have it on PC as well, but now obviously it is on mobile. So let's jump into it. I have it open right now actually. Uh, there it is, Dolphin. So you can see right there. Now the one thing you can, I'll have to tell you that is that uh, there is I cannot tell you where to get the games, but you can find it on your own. Uh, should you uh, do enough digging, you can find the games. In fact, let me let me zoom in a little bit just so that you guys can see a little bit better. So this is Dolphin, and you see I have Super Paper Mario on there. Uh, there's a number of options on there. Uh, in fact, let me to less to make it less distracting. Let me just go into single screen mode. If the light is not too bright, I may have to actually lower. The brightness just a little bit so you guys can see a little better uh, so there it is that's dolphin um, so I have Super Paper Mario on here and there's a bunch of games that you can get obviously basically the whole library of Wii GameCube on there um, I think they even have some sample games as well so first of all in the settings when you first get in you got your configuration settings you got your GameCube input or your Wii input so you can add more Wii remotes or add more GameCube controllers I believe this does support the, the Wii Mote itself, the Wii Remote itself, so you can actually connect via Bluetooth your OG Wii Remote or your GameCube controller if you can figure out how to do that. And you can add different uh, ports on, so you can tur turn on controller 1, 2, 3, and 4, because that's the max controllers for the platform. Um, and it's just a nice thing because I was surprised how well it runs. Uh, going in, config right there, you see general interface audio and so on like that. Um, let's go to interface so you can see the interface screen orientation during emulation is set to auto Let's tap that and see what else is in there. So you see landscape auto reverse and so on I would just like it to keep it on auto for my setting for the current setup that I'm about to show you uh, Going back in you can see there's more there and then going back some more So now let's see. I think it was config that we just clicked on. No, it was rather uh, graphic settings So you see the graphic settings right there. You can see where that is Going down, you see aspect ratio. If we type in aspect ratio, again, keep it on auto. Don't switch it to force it to anything. Don't stretch it to window. And that's about it. So going back some more and going back out, you see I have Super Paper Mario, and that's the only game I have. Um, I can just tap it to play because I preloaded it. I'm going to lower the volume. So you see how the experience is when I made it in single screen mode. But that's not the point of this video because that doesn't showcase how the Surface Duo does work okay the service duo does not do work uh like this what i'm going to show you in a single screen what we need to do is we need to make it dual screen fold it up right and then if, if it can stay in frame and then i need to drag it up i need to drag it to take up both screens and you see the configuration that i just did i think i might want to zoom out just a little bit the configuration that i just did you see, I've set it up so it's under Wiimote controls, and therefore the controls, just like xCloud, I set the Wiimote Wii buttons, uh, Wiimote buttons to the bottom screen, which is black, so you can see them easily. You got your A, B, 
and so on. And yeah, you can customize your controls just by uh, pressing the back key. You got your quick save, quick load, and so on. You can discover it. Um, then it can hit overlay controls, edit layout. If I press it one more time, edit layout, and therefore I can bring, let's say, the A and B key together more. On a Wiimote, you really just press, you turn the Wiimote horizontal and you press the one and two keys to do most things on a Wiimote. So that's just uh, how you do it. And the center button is actually to confirm everything, all your choices. So it's kind of hard to reach, but that's it. And I've also orientated the uh, Surface Duo kind of in a little bit, like a DS, just for the purpose of the video. But normally you probably want to just play it flat so that way you can access those middle buttons. Uh, going back again, again, they do have quick save and load state and so on like that. If you hit settings, uh, you got more configurations. You got all that stuff that you saw originally. Uh, going back some more. Refresh Wiimotes, you got settings, pause emulation. You can take a screenshot. Actually, will this focus up a little bit? There we go. You can take a screenshot um, and you can do just, it's just a nice experience. So if I hit A, you can see that. In fact, if I turn up the volumes a little bit, you hear the music is actually pretty accurate to when you play it normally. You see that from the beginning, you can see that I've already started a file on there. Uh, start, save file that, yep. And you can see how smooth the experience is on it. So you can see that just like that. Uh, going back again, I'm going to go and actually hit a uh, quick load. Or no, I'm going to hit load state and save uh, the load state slot one. So you can see actual kind of gameplay for it. So you can see just like that. I'm just kind of going through. I haven't actually gotten to a battle yet, but the battles... Uh, when I tested it out initially before saving, they're actually very smooth and you can just see just how how good it just looks. And obviously uh, the Wii did not have mainstream Pokemon games and things like that. But if, if the Wii works on here, the Nintendo DS works. And if you saw my earlier video last year. So you can see here uh, Super Mario, Super Paper Mario rather, if the phone did not ring. Uh, it's a pretty smooth experience overall, like uh, I haven't gotten to a battle scene yet. This is just like the intro videos and the intro walking and stuff like that. Um, I do know one thing that I think I had an issue with and that was the D-pad. I wasn't able to figure it out because for some reason, uh, when I walk forward and I walk back on the game, it's kind of reversed. So up and down, go left and right, and then left and right, go up and down. I'm not sure how to rotate the D-pad like 90 degrees. I'm sure there's a way, and I'll let you guys know before uploading this video if anything comes up, or if you somehow solve it on your own, let me know too, because that's that's just kind of annoying. It makes some games unplayable, like this one kind of, uh, even though this is turn-based, but some of these games they have like, you have to kind of turn the D-pad like multiple times and rotate it, and that could be very annoying. But overall, uh, my experience for the game, and they do have the Wii menu just like that. Overall, my experience for the game, and for the emulator, it's pretty solid. Um, other than that D-pad issue, that could break things for me, but not every game has this issue, I heard. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I'm gonna try to have some other things that could really, um, you know, you could use with this dual screen format. Um, not a, It's a love-hate thing for the dual screen format, but we'll see. The new Duo is supposedly gonna have bigger screens, curved screens, three cameras on the back, um, Wi-Fi, well, NFC, Wi-Fi AX, uh, Snapdragon 888, which is the current processor, not the, you know, not the latest latest, but it's pretty current, um, flagship processor, so we'll see about price and all that stuff. And also, stay tuned for the live stream this week, as of watching this, if you're watching this on launch day, stay tuned for the live stream for the Microsoft event, and I'll catch you guys later.